Hey there guys, it's DJ Azza here from EDM Central on the Star Hills Community Radio. You can lock in on my show every Friday from midday till 2. And join me right now, I have the man, the absolute legend right here, that is JC. What is come good, on. my G? Guildford Local on. and that, what are you saying? What's good? Nothing much yourself. Yeah, not bad, man, not bad, not bad. So, uh, tell us, for all the listeners out there, how would you describe your music? I, I, my music is, I think it's different from everyone else. I think I have my own little style. You know, like I enjoy doing what I do. Like my music, is, I think when I first started, like my music is just, I, I don't know, it's just something not not many people can do what I do. That's how, that's how I say it. Yeah, it's unique in that. Yeah, because I've, I've been listening particularly with the, um, as, of, as of recently, with like your drill stuff that you've been doing out there. Mm. And honestly, man, like, I think something like that, generally if you were to kind of post that up you know kind of get like a um what am i trying to say now like kind of like a you know like a set plan everything you just have that i can yeah. see that going viral tomorrow yeah, easily yeah. easily yeah. yeah that's some absolute levels yeah. there um so on that front as well how if you were to kind of like pitch it to kind of people who might not be familiar with kind of like your sort of stuff like how would you kind of phrase it i mean my music is just i think it's just honest and true like yeah. When I first started, I was like, I thought I tried fitting in a little bit and like trying to make sure like people like sort of like, I don't know, they, they were just sort of like sitting there and go, oh yeah, yeah, I can relate to this when I know I was playing to myself, but recently a lot now of my music is more like honest and straight up. And I think it's a like the newest music I've made, like a lot of people I can see, I can see there and they can just play it on their playlist, you know, they can have a good time to it. Like it's upbeat and it's a good, it's, it's catchy. Yeah, yeah. Because I think ultimately, at the end of the day, when it comes to kind of making music, like I can relate myself anyway, it ultimately comes down to just making stuff that people can literally relate to. And 100%. that, you know, if, if you've got something like, you know, like a really catchy hook or a lead line that can just resonate with people in some form or manner, then, you know, that's just going to have, you know, ripple effects yeah. on everyone else just checking out. And then it gets shared and everyone else checks it out. And yeah, yeah. domino effect, basically. Yeah. That's kind of how I look at it. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, exactly. And talk to me about with the remind me again. I'm I'm probably gonna butcher the name, but you're probably gonna tell me anyways. The group you were part of with last year on oh, how yeah. with the involvement with them. Yeah, Twenty World Cult. So, um, I followed them on Instagram beforehand before I was my my music popped off, sort of thing. And yeah, um, I kept like dropping a message on their Instagrams and say like I really I enjoy this stuff. Like I'm really I'm getting like I like it a lot. And then I think. Um, I gave them a message one time because they said they were looking for artists and I was like I just put my name down and they said like we'll give you a call and whatnot. and um, I spoke to one of the uh, artists there TD TD777 yeah that's the one um, and he rang me up and he was like look your music we like it like your the views and the streams you're getting we we need someone like like you on, on the on our side sort of thing yeah and so I said to him I was like I'm down like and then as soon as we finished that conversation, um, I got added to the uh, WhatsApp group and the Instagram group and whatnot. And the family, honestly, 20 World is something different. Like the artists they've got is unreal. Like there's some huge talent there. Um, I know one of one of the boys, they're just Harry. Um, he was on T-Pain's uh, festival lineup. And like we've got Souls, uh, TD and all that lot, a lot more. And it's just a, it, they're just a, they've got all these different genres of music, mm. and you can't not like it. Absolutely, I think that's the best part. I mean, also because you obviously they're mentioning just Harry, big up another another ACM Luminoi, absolute mm. legends. Having to work with him, and I think if I recall, um, our boy Mataz as well. Yeah, Mataz. also joined the ranks as well. Yeah, absolute chief, big up to you if you're listening in. 100%. So, uh, yeah. So what kind of like happened after? Because I remember. There was like some big plans that are going on, obviously with you and Mataz obviously joining, and I was looking on your page. Reli I was like, oh, okay, we'll say religiously, but definitely a lot last year. And I was kind of saying about it. So, what kind of happens? Um, well, I think I don't know. I think I as much as I love the Twenty World lot, like I, I always see them as like my second family because they helped me, like they gave me ideas for music and stuff. Yeah, but I think I wanted to sit there and just you know I wanted to go. You know what? I want to work by myself sort of thing and just try my hardest just to get my head down focus on my music focus on what i got to do and whatnot like try to find your own identity basically yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's the one like and i told them like you got 
you lot have done a lot for me. Like you're still family and whatnot. I'll still back you a hundred percent. But I feel like I just need to be on my own sort of wave so then I can get where I need to go sort of thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. I completely agree with that. Um, and yeah, I think, again, that just goes, I think, with just any artist, really, just, again, Mm. kind of stepping away from stuff and just kind of, you know, like, just your own, find your own sound, really, because I yeah. think that's, again, kind of the ultimate goal, really, isn't it? Mm. Like, obviously, looking up to other artists, but then at the same time going, okay, that sounds quite cool, but then how do I do it for me? You know, yeah. how do I make it? Yeah, exactly. So exactly. you just need to kind of make it feel unique. Um so yeah on that front like what can i also expect from like jc like you know we've got any new releases coming out we've got new singles is there a potential album mixtape maybe i mean i'm working on uh an album now it's called the prodigy mm -hmm. i've always i always I've, I've always published it and said like i'm gonna make an album and when i get to it it's like i'm not feeling like i'm not feeling what i've what the fans should feel so it's like i want people to sit there listen to this album and go oh wow like this guy's like really serious about what he's doing yeah so the the album is pretty much just like how i've managed to get from where i am now to from like from the beginning to now and whatnot like it, i i think it's it's one of those albums where i think I'm, i've got to work really hard on it to you know get to where i want it to be um and it's like i've dropped a few new songs here and there like um beautiful days but I'll, a quick shout out to soundcloud by the way beautiful days I was I checked on it like two. Three yeah, it's been doing ago. numbers lately, hasn't yeah. it? It's been absolute yeah. numbers lately. It's crazy. It's on. I think it's on eleven thousand right now as we speak. Sheesh. Let's <laughs> like, go. And big up uh, Reach as well. That's just hit six hundred thousand streams as well. So big love to that. Um, yeah, I, th I think I usually tend to give that a lot of, um, in particular at the spectrum. Big up to the spectrum. Mm. For, if you guys kind of know, if you know, then you know. Big up. Ice rig. Big yeah, up. I. There, there was obviously a time when I used to kind of play it regularly and because mm. obviously for my night as well, they kind of didn't allow it because I was like, you have to stick to this. You yeah. can't play this or this or this. It's like, otherwise I'm just going to get people literally just complaining and then I'm just going to get, you know, the short end of the stick basically. Mm. Yeah. So so for anyone who's um, who's going to be listening to you, but like, what sort of styles can they expect? Um, I'm definitely switching it up. Um, I think I'm going to do more deep rap and slow rap. I think that's definitely that's going to be on the album. Um, I might go back to a bit of house JC. A lot of people like that. A lot of people, you know, really enjoyed that. So I might make one or two tracks there with that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've, risk, I've also really been getting into the sample sort of side of it. So like sampling beats and whatnot. And I'll write on that. Like a lot of people are starting to enjoy that. So I think... Particularly with like your recent ones with the uh, jumping on the sample drill wave. Yeah, yeah people are loving it. Um, so yeah, I think I think people are going to be surprised on what they hear from me, considering from where I came from, and you know, people are going to be pretty shocked. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for it. Uh, and on that front with gigs, I mean, you did one literally this Thursday, just gone at the time of you lot listening to this, which would have been what was it now today? It would have been the 26th of mm. January. Um, so this is probably going to be like aired in probably not February or something. But mm. um, yeah, for anyone listening in. Um, when next are you going to be performing? Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to do something February time. Um, a lot of people have messaged me um, going, when's your show? When are you doing the next show? When's, what's going on there? So I'm praying to get it either by mid-February or near the beginning of February because a lot of people are starting to recognise who I am now. And it's, I'm, I, it's sort of like a shock, but it's like it shouldn't be a shock. So I just want to try and get as many people as I can have the best sort of show i can do and yeah i just want to i just want to give back to my fans pretty much yeah is that also going to be guildford based as well yeah yeah guildford based guildford based come on every time <laughs> you know it you know yeah. it <laughs> yeah that's exactly. the one uh fantastic well it's been an absolute pleasure jc uh Thanks. do you want to shout out your socials yeah so my instagram is it's jc underscore dtb uh you can check that out instagram uh, no, Inst snapchat is xjc official and soundcloud is it's jc official all one word fantastic that's what i love to hear well uh it's been an absolute pleasure and until next time yeah thank you brother it's all right